Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's banana nuts cake or loaf nuts is a combination of coconut and peanuts. Banana nut cakes are easy and fun to make, right from having the nuts in the batter to sprinkling the top with coconut, or you could combine both the peanuts and the coconuts. The peanuts, I roasted it at home. It was almost done because I would still put it in the oven so it wasn't fully roasted. Continue watching where I show you the other ingredients. Banana nut loaf. I'm going to use banana. Very ripe. And I've got here dehydrated coconut, desiccated coconut. I have a recipe on how I made this. And this is peanuts or ground nuts. You could use cashew nuts or any other nuts you want to use. It's a little less than the coconut, like two tablespoons less. I've got flour, two cups of flour, sugar. You can use sour milk or buttermilk. This is homemade sour milk. I've got two eggs. And I'm going to use a combination of baking soda and baking powder, margarine, flavor vanilla, to sifted flour in a bowl. I'm going to add the baking powder. I'll use the baking soda later on. Mix everything together and then set aside begin I got the margarine here in the bowl and I am going to soften it a bit before I add the sugar to it to cream it in goes the sugar and then the creaming begins For some reasons, I mixed the rest by hand to get that fluffiness I wanted. To the cream mixture, I'm going to add the slightly beaten eggs. So that it's at this stage that I should add the vanilla, but I forgot. The bananas, I'm eyeballing it. This should be a cup by the time I mash it. And if you want just big, big chunks of the banana in the cake, you could thinly slice it. Add the mashed bananas and mix everything together. That's it. To the sour milk, I'm going to add some baking soda. Give it a good mix. See the change? It has become thicker. With this, there's no need to add salt again because of the baking soda. I'm going to mix this together before I add the flour. That's half of the flour. I'm going to fold it in. I'm going to put in some of the sour milk, just a little bit, fold it in. It should be flour liquid and the flour should be the last thing you fold in. I didn't add all the milk at once to make it easier and a little bit neater for me. So in goes the rest of the sour milk, fold it in as well. Add the last half of the flour and then I'm going to fold it in. And nuts goes inside. From the peanuts to the coconuts. Pull 
this in. I'm going to add the vanilla. The vanilla should be added after creaming and you've added the eggs, but it is never too late. I'll just fold it in. Preheat the oven at this stage. Pour the butter into a greased and floured pan. It's a not full banana cake loaf. I'm going to sprinkle more coconuts on it. Then the second, I have a smaller loaf which I made. I'm going to add peanuts to this and then sprinkle with coconut too. You might want to loosen the edges a bit. This is optional. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!